Hey guys, welcome back. Second build order. Um, it's actually going to be the same strategy. Primal Drush into Archers, Prush Flush. This time it's with Britons. Because um, it's a very specific build order, which is something you can only do with Britons. The, the higher elo you get, you get, the more you learn like a specific build order for a specific sieve. And this one is for Britons. It's the Prush Flush, the Primal Drush into Archers with the crossbow follow-up. Um, advanced build order quite interesting but once you manage it's very very strong so let's rock and roll 21 pop after doing a primo drush is the goal error Ready message cool. right I'm there Johnson. alrighty so first off i use a scout Grayton, and two Gatlin. sheep to scout again my two villagers spawn on Yay. the left side so i'm gonna eat the sheep on the left side as well now i'm gonna make small circles with these sheep around my TC and with my scout I make a big circle so this sheep is actually gonna scout what my what my what my scout calf didn't scout new sheep I find if I spot them early enough I will scout with those and the cheeky thing with Britons guys is that we're gonna put five on sheep rather than six with the previous build righty keep that in mind five on sheep don't have to put six because we're Britons. We got that, that bonus. We Ready. eat Gathering. the sheep. Freaking groceries, man. Alrighty. Man, Here's the build. Order. Make the lumber camp. We've also gone for the bottom lumber camp. But because we're Britons, we're going to wood a little bit quicker than you normally would, right? We're already going for wood with the with the sixth villager. Normally, that sixth Quentin. villager would still go on sheep. So we don't have to. Uh, pull villagers to the wood line a little bit sooner. It's still all about efficiency though. So we're gonna try and get our woodcutters as efficient as we can get while we scout, find all the goodies. Or, or, well, rhino and elephant in this case. Uh, so we, we already found all, all we need to know. So we're gonna scout our opponent quite early on. Um, we have four on wood, and look at this guys, I don't want to open up another sheep. I'm actually gonna pull a villager out already to grab the boar. Now if you look at this, it's got about 75 food still. You'd say, oh this is too soon, but look how quick I eat this sheep. Okay, look how quick the sheep is vanishing. So I would, this is almost late. This is almost late. A late boar. We're gonna eat an elephant, not a boar. Right on. So, to, four on wood. We've got um, seven there. All right, the next villager is uh, gonna make a house. Because else we're housed. We're gonna find our opponent. And the new villagers go to the boar. So, again, people, it's something very similar than the previous. A build order we did the Prush Flush with Magyars without any eco bonuses. Uh, the difference here is um, we have a little bit of a Sif bonus. So that bonus is gonna help us do a 21 pop Prush Flush. The hell is this guy doing? Get off my back. I don't wanna fight. I'm doing a build order. <laughs> Obviously, it makes things more realistic, right? In a in a real game, the scout might be chasing me, like it's doing right now. Are we gonna win this? Is the AI gonna beat the crap out of me? Righty. Yay, ready, hunter. Ready, righty, righty, righty. Okay, guys. Crucial with the build order is to get four on she on berries quite soon. Now I'm only sending three. Why am I sending three? Because there's already a dude here. You see? So now it's gonna be four. I'm gonna make sure I put two of them on each side. Maximum efficiency, and we need to be getting the ten gold while we make our militias. So that's militia number three. We're making bills and militia. We've got four on wood, four on berries, collecting the ten gold. We're already preparing for the boar to run out. Okay? So we're already putting the sheep on on either side. It's all about efficiency. Putting those there, putting those there. We need a house. Don't forget to make the house. Usually we'd put 
choose a wood villager. This guy is going to make the farm, like we said, 21 pop. So this is going to be scary. We need we need a lot of food. We need a lot of food, guys. Can we manage? Can we manage? This is without pushing a single deer as well. Keep that in mind. No deer pushed whatsoever. So you can do this all the time if you're Britons. These are the standard resources. We did the premium rush. Now in a real game, obviously you'd be you'd be playing around with those. Now let's see, guys. Looking at the resources, it's quite tense, but look at that beautiful, beautiful. What the hell is this guy doing? Righty. So now, once we're up, we're gonna think of the follow-up. Let's not send the weak. Bill. We need four, uh, sorry, five villagers on each lumber camp. There's four there, so there needs to be a number five. And we need three on gold. Alrighty, and you guys will eat the straggler once you're done with the sheep. Alrighty, so this is beautiful. This is exactly where we should be. We've got 10 on wood. We're eating the straggler. Our, our push is doing damage. Obviously, I haven't been paying attention to the scouting. Um, in the normal game, I would be. So the crucial thing here um, is a range. So we want to get archers, but we also want to get a quick uptime. Let's say we did damage with a push. I'm gonna send two villagers out. Ready. They're both Mandata. weak, which is not smart. So Ready. let's just take these. Correct. We've got plenty of food. Grayton. I can I can spare them. Mandata. The dude is Mandata. just making me nervous. This. Yeah. Alrighty, range. Double bit X. Ready. And farms. Chopper. Early farms Golden. is what we need. As Yay. early as we can make them. Golden. Very early Green farms, Green guys. Green. Let's not fucking lose these. Got the range. Gonna make a house. And again, every 60 wood you're getting is a farm. So the only thing we're gonna be making, we're doing damage with a push. And the archers are gonna go and support the push as well. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is that a push does something similar as men at arms do. Is they all force your opponent to make resource walls. If you don't know what a resource wall is, a resource wall is where you make walls around your resources rather than a base wall around your whole base. Okay. Right? Chopper. Makes sense. I hope so. um, but the archers will be able to reach Ready. over Ready. those walls. Um, Ready. Making you able to Ready. do good damage. Yay. As you can see guys, I'm producing fills, archers, and every 60 wood I'm getting Yay. is a oh. farm. Every 60 wood I'm getting is a farm. We need one more on gold, because we're somewhat struggling with the archers and we want to get fletching at some point. Yeah, so let's, let's go for fletching. Let's say we have like three, four archers, we're doing some damage. I would think fletching is, is the next move. Yeah, we've got about four archers going across. Let's get that, let's get that beautiful fletching. Right, look at my resources. I'm already starting to bank food. Now, what does that mean? Ready. That means castle age. I'm gonna send one more to, to gold. You might be wondering why I'm doing this. It's because we also need to afford fletching. We're gonna be we're gonna be playing double range crossbow. So having more on gold is actually not that bad. It's all about the balance. Right here. Ready. Archer, farm, look at my wood count, I need to keep it as low as I can get. In this case I would even pull a gold villager to make a farm if I have to. Because having farms, keeping the farm number as low as we can get makes us go up as quick as possible. Alrighty, 12 farms, that's not a lot of farms is it? It's not a lot of farms and it could actually be enough for us to go up. The trick is to go up with the least amount of farms. Okay, and a farm will give you, I guess it's also costing you 60 uh, wood. It's only beneficial after like, like so long. This is also where 
You could Great. like drop a second range if you want to be a little yeah. bit more aggressive and feudal okay. and still get a competitive yeah. uptime. Yeah. We're not gonna do wheelbarrow. We could yeah. even flex. do it like this. Flex on. Because we're, we're okay on wood. For now, we're gonna collect that deer. Speed up our uptime. We have 8 on gold. Enough. We're gonna have double range. We're gonna be. This is this is like. Obviously, it's it's build order practice, but this has been gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. We've been doing a pre mill drush, hitting him very early. Um, and then with an archer follow up. And now we're just building up the numbers. Building up the numbers. Ready. Actually, gonna end up having nine on gold. This is villager number ten. We're a little bit low on the gold, but the food count is almost there. As soon as these arrive, should have enough food to click up. I'm gonna idle my ranges just a second. Now, normally I hate idling my ranges. I want to keep them working all game. But I also want to hit castle age at a gorgeous time and that's what we're getting here but now everything is about keeping those ranges working we're going up to castle age we're 17 minutes in game we did a pre mill drush we're gonna get all our eco bonuses now look at the resources guys we've got nothing of anything and that's what i like to see everything is put on the field we've got the crossbow we've got fletching this is also where you think about maybe the armor even this is also, people, the moment where you have to... This all depends on the game. This is a little bit of a thing you'll learn over time. But this is where you make the decisions. Do I need ballistics? Do I need TCs? Do I need a siege workshop? Is my opponent going knights? Uh, what do I do? And th this is the moment you figure that out. We're 50 minutes up to castle. Um, depending on the damage I did, depending on if he's walled or not, depending on so many factors, is where you decide what to do. Now, some players like to go for TC drops, some players like to go for a quick ballistics, and it's difficult to say. There's no standard. You'll, you'll have to learn that by feel. You can learn the build order like we just did by heart, but this is that moment where, you know, you have to... You you have to feel how the game is progressing to know what to do. For Britons, we get cheap TCs. Let's uh, let's drop one. Let's see if we can get all the techs we need. Bam! All the techs. Crossbow. Uh, Botkin. Wood upgrade. Plenty of numbers. Pre 20 minute call switch. That's what we need. Let's check the times. Resign. Well, it was 20 minutes and one second, okay? But the feudal time was really quick. 21 pop after a premium drush. Beautiful build order. Try it out. You probably have to do this a couple of times before you're able to do this uh, on a steady, regular basis. But if you do this, let's say you're like a 1300, or no, let's say you're a 1500 ELO player and uh, you practice this 10 times against an AI and then you do it in a 1v1 against another 1500, I guarantee you, uh, you're gonna have a good game. You're gonna have fun. Now the second thing is, um, wh the second reason why I would encourage you to try this is because it's very micro-intensive early on. You have to micro that push really early on in the game. It's not your standard dark age where it's just, you know, really chill. It's, it's aggression, it's micro-intensive, and you're going to be running a lot of militias under your opponent TC. But you learn from that. You learn a shit ton from that. So, enjoy guys. Have fun.